Hi, Kavisadi, violinist and music educator, back again with another lesson in my series called Essential Elements for Strings, Book One, primarily for violin, but also for viola. And cello and bass players can also follow along. If you're an adult student, you can follow along. If you're in first grade or 12th grade, you can also follow along with me. So today, what we're going to do is page six and seven, now using the bow. So this is kind of the way I do it. I, I taught you to pits in a previous lesson, pizzicato. I taught you arco in a previous lesson. Uh, and we were on page four and five last time. And now we're on page six. So go ahead and get your book, which looks like this, Essential Elements for Strings, Violin or Viola Book One. Put it on the music stand. Put your phone with this video on the opposite page that we're working on. So you can follow along with both. And we're going to go ahead and now play page six and seven with the bow. So what you're going to want to do is like we said before, remember those exercises were in a previous video, slide your fingers, thumb opposite your middle finger until you're touching the frog a little bit with your thumb, your ring finger should be on this circle. See that circle you're holding the bow gently pinky on top. You should see a hole right there. See that hole like a bird's head. With your left hand, you're going to grab your hamburger. I call this the hamburger. Look at your button like you're going to eat your hamburger. Don't eat it. Put it on the left side of your uh, body. You're going to put your bow on the D string. If you're viola, by the way, your second string from the right is your D string. But the third, this third string from the right is violin. You're going to put your bow on the D string and put one finger on the tape, two fingers on the tape three fingers on the tape and your pinky's going to be closed. Don't forget your, all your fingers are going to be curvy. Your left wrist, it's going to be straight away from the violin. Your thumbprint is going to be on the back on the side of the neck, right about there. Remember we're playing on our fingertips, not our fingerprints. So here we go. One, two, three fingers, three fingers on the third tape. And we're going to play number 10, one, two, Bow on the D string, go and rest, rest and rest. Did you get it? If you didn't, maybe a couple things you need to remember are you need to press down with your fingertip like you're squashing a bug, because if I don't, it'll sound like this. So press down. Third finger right on that green tape that I have. Third finger tip, press down like you're pressing on a computer key or squashing a bug. See if you can find your G again. Your other two fingers, first finger and second finger, should also be down on those tapes. Pinky should be in the air. Put your bow on the D string. Here we go. We're going to do it one more time. See if you can sing and play at the same time. One, two, three, go. And G, G, G. Rest and G, 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 say the rest and G, 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 rest one more time. G, 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 say it and play it. Say the rest. Rest. Did you get it? Good. Let's move on. You're going to see number 11 has a number two. That means two fingers, but you're not going to put your fingers down like this, like a claw. You're going to keep your fingers close, but put down one and two. First tape, second tape. Don't forget first tape is here. Second tape is here on the D string. One finger, two fingers. If you're having a hard time, try playing your violin like a guitar. Keeping it that way, get, getting your bow hand ready and you can get your violin ready this way. You might have to bring your wrist away from the violin. Let's do number 11, F sharp. One, two, three, and go now. F sharp, F sharp, F sharp. That's two fingers. F sharp, F sharp, F sharp. Rest and F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp. Rest again. Rest. Rest.
rest. Did you get it? If you didn't, if you're trying your best and something's wrong, it might be your violin is out of tune. So you can clink, click on a clink, cl click on a link below and find the video that tells you how to tune. I made a video that's going to help you. So don't forget your D, open D should sound like this D. And we're going to continue with number 12, lift off after you're done tuning. Did you tune? All right, here we go. Lift off has G's and F sharps, but what I want you to do is don't play right now. I'm going to play. You're going to read one, two, don't play. My turn. Read and G, 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 rest and F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, rest and G, G, F sharp, F sharp, G, F sharp, G. All right, your turn. So go ahead and get your bow hand ready. Should look like this. It should be a hole. Right there, it should look like a bird's head, right? Pinky on top. Get your left side of your body ready. You got your hamburger. Slide your hand down. Your left wrist should be straight. And we're gonna play number 12. Why don't you sing the letters in your head and say the rest in your head while you're playing. One, two, three, nap. Rest and. Again, go G, 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 rest, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, rest, G, G, F sharp, F sharp, G, F sharp, G, rest. Did you get it? Don't forget there's a repeat sign at the end of that song, so there are two dots. That means you're going to play this song twice without stopping. We're going to go on to number 13 on page 7. Don't forget to read that exercise at the top of the page at the top of the page. We did that exercise in a previous lesson, so maybe you want to pause the video right now and do that. Here we go with on the trail. So get your bow hand ready, grab your hamburger, look at your button, button on the left side of your neck, slide your left hand out, wrist should be straight, you see that? One, two, three fingers to play G, put your bow on the D string, your hand should look like this, wrist should be relatively straight. And here we go with number 13, tilt your bow so you're on the right string and your finger's in the right place. Find your G. I'm gonna count, okay? Ready, one, two, three, go. And G, G, F sharp, rest. G, G, F sharp, rest. And G, F sharp, G, repeat, sign, go. Rest and rest and G G F sharp F sharp G F sharp G rest. Did you get it? Did you say the rests in your head? All right. If you didn't, you might have to do that about three or four hundred more times. <laughs> so let's go ahead and go on to number fourteen. We already know how to play this pizzicato, but now we're going to play it with the bow. So make sure your left hand is set up. First finger plays E on the D string, other fingers are close, wrist is straight, fix your bow hand, put your bow one inch from the bridge on the D string, and do big bows to play loud. Remember, big bows play louder, we like that, even if it's a little bit noisy and you're messing up a little bit, it's fine. Here's number 14, one, two, three, go, and E, rest, E's. Seven E's, three, four, five, six, seven. Rest, stop, double bar, right? But let's do it one more time, just to be sure. One, two, three, say it and play it. Rest. <laughs> Good job. Uh, what I just did is I made up some notes to go along with your song that you're playing, and I'm going to be doing that more and more. So let's go ahead and try number 15. Maybe you can get lucky and get it the first time. You think you could get it? So get your violin ready on your left side. Slide your hand out. Get your bow hand ready. Put your bow on the D string. Let's get three fingers on the D string. And if it's easy, remember I said you could say the numbers of the finger on your head. Three, three, two, two, one, one, two. Here we go, walking song, number 15. I'm gonna count, one, 
two, three, start. G. Rest. Repeat sign. Rest. Rest. Let's try that one closing your eyes. Go ahead and close your eyes. See if you can play it from memory. One, two, three, go. No peeking. One more time and Rest. Rest. Did you get it with your eyes closed? <laughs> all right. If you did, good job. If you could play all these songs from memory, that'd be great. And you'll know if you can do that, you can go on to the next two pages. You don't have to play by memory the way that I teach. You don't have to. But playing a song three times in a row is a good indicator that you you've mastered that song even if it's a little bit scratchy even if that song sounds like this that's actually pretty good if you're a beginner all right if it if it sounds a little funny you're gonna hear like you're gonna hear a lot of those kind of sounds but it sounds like the song and you can play the song without stopping three times in a row then you're really doing a great job all right so that wraps it up for today's lesson. The next uh, lesson is going to be on page eight and nine. So you want to make sure you practice today's lesson. Go ahead and come back to this video tomorrow, practice along with it, and fill out the rest of the time. You still have about, let's see, uh, 17 minutes to go or 16 minutes to fill out the half hour. So you're going to want to maybe watch this video twice tomorrow, practice along with it. Kavis 80, violinist music educator. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit that no notification bell so you're aware of new lessons as they pop up. I appreciate you watching this video and go ahead and um, throw me a comment down below or share this video with your friends and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.